Some of them are, 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 are predictable. Um, the Silverado has uh, gotten a lot of positive uh, press. It's a very important vehicle. Um, the, Sting, the Corvette Stingray uh, got a hugely positive reception at the auto show when it was introduced. Um, and the Jeep Cherokee also um, has gotten uh, rave reviews, although there's some controversy around the styling. But still, those vehicles um, uh, were fairly predictable and uh, deserve the credit they get. Um, same thing for the Acura MDX, which is a step forward in the crossover segment. Um, and uh, so I don't think there's uh, a lot of really uh, surprises, I would say. I'm not that familiar with the Mazda 3, but um, it's a new compact car. Um, and uh, obviously it's uh, been well received by the journalists. So I think overall they're, they're great cars. And it's also a good story for GM. They have three of the six finalists. So there's a lot of news today for GM with the new CEO uh, being out of government motor situation and three cars, so it's quite a day for GM. This is a very strong group of cars and trucks, I think. One of the things that's most interesting this year is that there isn't any one vehicle that you can look at the list and say, that's the overwhelming leader. I mean, any of these could win. They're all very strong. One of the things that jumps out at me is that this is a very, very good year for General Motors. I mean, they've got two of the three finalists on the car side. They've got one of the finalists on the truck side. I mean, you know, General Motors, This on a day when they announced uh, a, a new uh, uh, CEO, this is really a validation of how far the company has come, I think.